Good morning, everybody. This is Dee Reinhardt with Illinois WorkNet. We are going to be talking today about site management and adding referral information. Uh, today we're going to uh, go through our little PowerPoint, and then we're going to do live uh, demonstration so that you can see what we're doing. If you have any questions during the course of the presentation, please type them into the chat pod, and we will keep track of those and try to either answer them or show them. I can see Chelsea's already hard at work there, making sure that she's getting those questions answered. If you have not already had a chance to download the handouts, they are in the file pod in the lower left-hand corner. They will open up to a new page. So make sure that you find those on your, new, on your new browser page. Let's get going. It's really important to make sure that all of your site information is up to date and kept up to date because it feeds a number of websites. They include the actual Illinois WorkNet site, Disability Works, the WIOA Works, our layoff assistance tool, as well as the federal website, the Career One Stop. It also feeds the information in our Job Prep app that is available on Android and on iOS systems. So to do the check, first of all, you want to make sure that your site actually shows up on the system. So you can go to Network and Connect and look in the Illinois WorkNet Service Finder put in a zip code or a city, depending on which item you have checked, and then check the list to make sure that your site or organization uh, shows up on the list. If you do need to add your site, we have a process in place. So if you are funded through WIOA, you can follow those steps if you are a new referral or a partner site that's non-WIOA funded. We have the process in place there. Um, we do have LWIA coordinators and primary contacts who are responsible for making sure that the information is current and up to date. If you want to add a referral, you would go to the footer and find the partner resources in the footer of the toolbar. And those will take you to our list of program guides for the partners that you would click on the little map looking location so that you can uh, follow through with adding your information. Today we're going to talk about the actual process here and give you a demonstration. You can download the handouts, or if you are watching the recording of this webinar, you can go to the Partner Resources to the Download and Print section to find this, the handouts that we referenced in today's webinar. One of the things that we've determined is that not everybody stays stationary for years and years and years. So there may be some people who are on your site listing that are not any longer with you. They may have retired. They have moved, may, may have moved on to another job. They may have decided that they were not going to work for your organization any longer. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that every so often we have a check-in to make sure that the contact information for your site is correct. So every six months or so, we will check in with the primary contacts of the active partners to make sure that the information is correct. So our next steps are to make sure that your site information is accurate. Begin using the site management tool. Make sure that your program information is included. And make sure that you are adding referral information. And the next steps for us include making things easier for you. We're going to add a new button on the Service Finder public page so that our partners can add or manage their site information. We'll have notification emails coming out. And then we will have in the Service Finder admin link, I'm sorry, we will have a Service Finder admin link in your dashboard. And then we'll have reports as well. 
So make sure that you keep uh, checking up to date with us for this information. So let's go live right now to the I'm going to pull over my screen. So let's check real quick. Can everybody see my screen OK? If you can raise your hand with a little man at the top of the page. All right, great. We will go on with our demonstration now. So as we noted in the PowerPoint, you would go to Network and Connect and go to the Illinois WorkNet Service Finder, which is the second item in the Network and Connect menu. You can look for individual or businesses. You can look by city or zip code. I was looking a little bit earlier today, and I was kept typing zip codes in when I had city, and nothing was showing up. So make sure that if you're on city, you type city instead of a zip code and vice versa. So I'm going to type in Springfield, and I'm going to type, uh, I'm going to make the search uh, 25 miles, and then I'm going to hit search. What happens next is we have our list of items that show up of who the uh, sites are that are in Elwia 20. Then we can look at it by grid. So if you're trying to print it off, you can do that. Or if you want to look on the map, you can look in the map and see what's within 25 miles of Springfield. So you can take a look at each of the items on the pin to make sure that your item is listed correctly on the map. Next, you would go down to the partner resources. And scroll down on the page to where all of the different programs are and click on the Illinois WorkNet Service Finder Admin. This requires a login. Now, I don't want to log in on, uh, on, the, on this website because it would take us to live information. So I've already logged in in our test site. And I have access to all of the organizations across the state. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter down to some, uh, some tests sites that we've entered, and we're going to look. So on these sites, we have some, uh, I have a couple of test ones here that I can look at. So I'm going to edit this D's testing site. And in here, we have all of the different items that are part of the site management. We want to talk about referrals today, uh, but you can go in and update any of these sections. So referrals and special programs is the section that we're going to look at. And again, I'm in a testing page, not uh, the real live information. So if I want to go in and add a new program or a referral, I would just click on the Add a Program. I would pick a program name. So if it's Adam or DEI or a referral, I can add the item by clicking here. So maybe I do referral information for veterans. The location is either active or not. And then I pick whether I am providing this service statewide, which would put the information all the way in for every single county across the state. Let me make this just a hair bigger here so that you can see a little bit better. Does that help everybody? Then we can, uh, then we can also click by county. So if I want to add Boone County, I click on the county, add select. I click on CAS and hit select, and then I can click keep adding individual counties if I want to. Then I would pick what the funding source is, whether it's DCEO funded, DHS funded, or other. So I'm going to say DCEO funded. 
I'm going to then save and add another one, which I can continue doing until all of the information is added based on what I want to add as a referral to my program. When I'm done with the last one, all I would have to do is click Save. And then it has listed all of my referrals. If I had entered a program, it would have shown up in here. Now, if you were looking at your sites, and let's go back to my Ds, and you didn't see your site listed, there's a couple of options that may have happened. That's why you would have wanted to go to the public facing site to check to see if your location is listed in total. Uh, in many cases, an ELWIA coordinator or the primary contact are the only people that would see the list. So if you don't see the list in this section, check publicly first before you add a new site. But if you do want to add a new site, all you would have to do is click on the Add a New Site right here. It will take you through the steps where you agree to service, uh, pick whether you are a, an LNA WorkNet partner or a work support referral, and then you would be active or inactive, if it's a resource room or not. There's an entire list of questions that you would need to answer that does appear in the Create a New Site handout that is in the bottom. If you are only a referral site, I'm going to return to my sites again and start that process for just a referral site. I would add a new site here, do the same step here. I would click down, and it gives you a definition of what a community referral is versus an Illinois WorkNet partner. If I do a work support referral, I can hit Save and Continue, um, and then go through the steps, and it tells, asks the same questions. Why are you adding your site, is, and then all of the contact information, the hours, all of the items that are in our list. So that is our live demonstration for the day. I will answer any questions for you if we have any from the audience that we need to answer. It looks like Chelsea has been adding lots of information in the chat pod for you. So we'll give it just a moment. I do see somebody typing right now. We do have some additional webinars coming up for explaining the different items on the menu. Let's go back to the... Um, public site, and so that you can see where the referrals are. I'm on test right now, but if I type in uh, city, I'll do Elgin, and I will do search. So then it will show up in here. Oh, let me do let me do referrals here. And we'll do statewide. And then we'll do search. So now we see in the test site, we see all of the test sites and the icons that show up. So we have Natasha's housing assistance. It's a biz service plus some child care, some disability services, some education. We see a test site here for global testing. So you can see where things come up 
and show up for the tests once you select items on the grid. So this is a really uh, good tool here. We can type, click on Map, and we'll see where things would show up on the map or by grid. So this is in test right now. So let's see here if we have any questions. Will there be a link in IWDS screens to directly access the referral feature in Illinois WorkNet? Um, I, uh, Mike, I don't know the answer to that. It looks, oh, Chelsea answered. She said that all items are entered via WorkNet now. So you just have to go down to the partner resources and very soon we will have the link that you can click on just from the, the um, service finder itself. And Kathleen asks, checking whatever partners were already in ID, IWN, did they move over to the new beta site or do all partners need to reestablish as a partner in the LWIA? And I believe Chelsea just wrote it will, um, they will be added um, directly from the old site to the new site. So do we have, they're already moved over. And currently we do not have quarterly reports sh working at the moment. They will be very shortly. Yes, Kathleen, please have all of your partners go and check the new site to make sure that their contact information is correct. Okay. Do we have any other questions from the audience? We've got a couple of people typing, it looks like. Um, well, just happened. Uh, we've lost my screen. Give me one second here. Okay. It should be back now. All right. Um, I don't, okay, we have another question here. In December, IWN staff sent out a list of current partners and asked for our input. I haven't had the opportunity to check to see if it was updated. Did IWN staff make those changes? And Chelsea said yes. All of the updates were made that were sent back to Illinois WorkNet. And Eileen typed that the information for their contact is incorrect. You should now be able to edit it if you are an LWIA coordinator or the primary contact. If not, you may want to type an email to info at IllinoisWorkNet.com so that you can find out who the primary contact or LWIA coordinator is. Chelsea and I are thinking very much alike right now. <laughs> okay. So I do not see any other items coming up on the questions. Let's move to our closing screen right now. The chat will stay there. If you could answer a couple of questions for us, we would appreciate it. And if we have no further uh, need for demonstration. I am going to end the recording 
but we will leave the chat open in case you have any additional questions. I'll give you just a second. I'd like to thank everybody for their time today. Please check Eventbrite so that we can share other features of the new Illinois WorkNet page with you. Have a 